So I really came outside because I wanted to talk about some seed starting options, but it is cold out here today. It's not so bad in the greenhouse, but it is really cold outside. So let's go inside. All right, guys, we are downstairs now in the house where it is nice and warm. So I just want to talk to you really quick about some seed starting container options. Um, I had mentioned before that I like to start seeds in containers about this big because some seedlings need a lot of space and they need to grow for a longer period of time before you can put them outside. So some seedlings can go out before your first frost. I mean, I'm sorry, before your last frost. And other seedlings have to wait a week to two weeks after your last frost. So they sometimes they have to be in their seedling container for a pretty long time. So if you have to grow these seedlings for anywhere from four to six to eight to 10 weeks before you can put them outside, then you need your containers to be pretty big. You don't want to run the risk of having your seedlings root bound and stressed before they've had a chance to go outside and thrive. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys a few options. Of course, there are the obvious options, okay? The four cell um, containers and then, um, you know, these that I got from the dollar store. But if you're on a budget and you are not in the market to be out buying a lot of seed starting containers, you can look around your house and I'm sure you can find some suitable um replacements for those types of things so over here i have some applesauce cups these are probably i don't know four ounces maybe but these are some pretty big you know they're pretty fairly nice size to start seedlings in especially if you don't need a lot of space for those seedlings lettuce plugs you know, you can do that in these um, spinach plugs, um, you know, things that don't need a lot of root space. You can start those seedlings in containers like this. Maybe you have some yogurt containers, empty yogurt containers. You can use those as long as you put drainage holes in the bottom. Okay. Um, you might be using Dean's or sour cream, maybe, um, cottage cheese, you know, these containers are really, really good for starting seeds. And if you've got enough of them, you don't need to buy containers. Then you can get even bigger. Like this one is bigger. And then this one is even bigger than that one. And then this one is even bigger than that one. So depending on how long you want to keep your seedling in your pot, like something like this, I would put a squash plant in or perhaps a melon plant, something that's going to take up a lot of space. Um, brassicas, they take up a lot of space. Broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, those types of things, they need a lot of space. You can start those seedlings in containers like this and you can rest assured that you won't have to up pot them at all by the time it's for, time for them to go outside as long as you put drainage holes in okay so there are some options there and then you have some more options like these toilet paper rolls empty toilet paper rolls if you've got a shallow dish, something like this, you know, um, cold cuts sometimes come in these containers and they have a lid, but you can use this as a tray and you can fill this tray with your rolls, 
put your soil in your rolls and you've got a seed starting container right here. All right. Um, you've got takeout containers like these that come with clear lids. Those are perfect for um, creating the greenhouse effect to get your seeds to germinate. Now, I would not recommend, I know that some people use these egg cartons to start seeds in. Um, I would not recommend starting seeds in these unless they are going to be ready to go out like right away. Like for the four week mark, you're ready to put them out because there just is not any, you know, there just is not a lot of space in these egg cartons for a seedling to grow. So um, you would have to end up taking it out of here to put it in a bigger container. And that's what you're trying to avoid. You're trying to avoid having to up pot um, seedlings. So over here I had some spinach started. And if you look, I've got a um, almond milk carton that I'm using. And inside of there are toilet paper rolls and also a milk carton, like a pint, half pint milk carton. And I'm using those as seed containers. And this is waterproof, so I can water it. I can pour the water in and it, it can bottom water right inside this container. So that's just one example of what you can do to use what you have around the house. Um, now, if you have containers like these, these are self-watering containers, and you're planning on growing herbs, you can definitely start your seeds right in the pot that they're gonna grow in. Um, there's nothing that says that you can't just plant them right in the pot that they're gonna grow in. So, um, there are many options to starting seeds as, as it pertains to what type of container you wanna use. And when you're starting your seeds, you want to make sure that you put them in a warm spot. Okay, they don't need light until they germinate. So you want, the aim here is to get them to germinate. So you need heat, you need them to be warm and you need them to be moist. So that is the um, reason why you cover them. And you don't even have to have a clear covering. You can have a, you know, blue covering or whatever kind of covering. As long as you're covering the seed so that it can stay warm inside of there. So here are some options. While I was in the dollar store, I saw these foil pans have clear lids on them and you can definitely create a dome greenhouse atmosphere to put your seeds in. And there were a few other shapes and sizes and they all have clear lids that you can put your seedlings or your pots in. And um, that way you have a tray that you can water in. If you don't have one of the standard black trays that you know that the little seed starting pots trays cells whatever you want to call them that they come in so here we have just a bunch of different shapes and sizes and they all have lids you can cover your seedling tray or pot or container with some plastic and then on top of the plastic a few sheets of newspaper. The newspaper is going to insulate that um, warmth to stay inside that container. So as soon as you see that the seed has sprouted, take all of that off and then the seedling is going to need light. So just a quick video on some of the things that you guys can be using to start seeds if you don't want to go out if you can't go out or if you want to just reuse some of the things that you already have um, i like to be able to reuse a lot of things that i already have around the house um, so while it is nice to go to the dollar store and buy these types of containers i do like to use what i already have um, 
I think the reason why I went out and bought these is because I plan on trying to sell some seedlings this year. So um, I want them to at least look nice. So that's why I got those. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you got some ideas. And um, stay tuned because I will be doing a lot more videos on seed scheduling, um, soil temperatures, what crops you can put out before your last frost date, and things like that. So stay tuned, hit the like, subscribe, and until next time, the more you know, the more you grow. Bye, guys.